Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you how to format an external hard disk drive that will be compatible for Mac OS as well as Windows. That is, you can read and write on both these operating systems. So let's get started. In this video, I'll show you how to do the formatting using Mac. If you have Windows, then refer to the link in the description below and watch the video for Windows. For formatting it in a Mac operating system, you need to go to the Disk Utility. For that, just find Disk Utility and hit Enter. And this is my external hard disk that I have used. I have got a Seagate expansion media. And here, the default format with which it came was NTFS. That is, it will only be compatible with the Windows operating system. In Mac, it can just be read, but you cannot write the file into it. So before you start formatting your hard disk, make sure that it is empty because whenever you format, all your data will be completely erased. Now select the external drive and hit erase here. You can provide a name to your hard disk. Let's say Mac and then comes the option for format. The first one is OS X extended journaled. By journal, it means that the journaling file system will keep the track of the changes that will be made before committing it to the main file system. So in case of a power loss or the system crash, the file system are less likely to be corrupted. In short, it provides security to the file system. The second one is the case sensitive as well as journaled. It means that it is sensitive to the folder and file name. For example, a file whose name is, let's say test, can exist with capital T-E-S-T -E as well as small t-E-S-T. -E so that is what case sensitive is. Next is MS-DOS FAT. If you choose this format, your hard disk will be compatible with Windows as well as Mac operating system. But the limitation here will be the file size which you can transfer at max is 4 GB. Then comes XFAT. It is again compatible with Windows as well as Mac and it doesn't have any limitation over the size of the file. But yes, it is not journaled unlike these two formats. Another one you can choose for window is NTFS which is the default format of the hard disk. It is journaled and is always preferred to be used. I'll be using NTFS for windows but for now I'll format it using OS X extended journaled. Then comes the option for scheme. For scheme, here you will get three options. One is GUID partition map. It is used for all Intel based Mac computers, but it will not be recognized for Windows operating system less than Vista. Then is the master boot record. It is just for the Windows partition and can be formatted as the FAT formats that is the MS-DOS FAT or the XFAT. Then is the Apple partition map. It is used for the older version of Mac for which you might want to boot the PowerPC based Mac. So we will go for GUID partition map and then hit erase. Ensure that your hard disk is empty before you start formatting it. Here you get a pop up to use the external hard disk for time machine. I'll choose no. And then it says erasing is done. Hitting done. Now the format of my hard disk is OS X extended. So now my hard disk is formatted and I can write the files into it from the Mac operating system. So this is my hard disk. Let me try to drag and drop a file here. And yes, I'm able to write files into it now. Let me remove this because now I want to partition this hard disk so that I can use it in Windows as well. So I'll delete this and make sure whenever you delete something from the hard disk, you empty the trash. So now we are back again in the disk utility. Now for partitioning, select the drive and hit on the partition tab here. Now it's up to you how you want to partition your device. I'll partition into three parts, one only for Mac, other only for Windows and the third partition of mine will be compatible for both Windows as well as Mac. 
so here click on this plus button and now you can choose the size and the name of the partition and the format as well so let's start with this the first one I'll make it as Mac which will be compatible with only the Mac operating system keep the format as OS X extended here you can see you get other options of encrypted which means you can password protect your partition I don't want that and then set its size to 200 GB the second one let's say common which I'll use for both Mac and Windows and I'll set its format to XFAT and its size as 300 and now coming to the last one which will be compatible with Windows I'll name it Windows and I'll give the format for now as MS-DOS FAT because we don't have NTFS available here I'll format it using the disk management in my Windows system I'll show you that too there are some third party option using which you can set the NTFS option but I'll not go for it hitting apply so now my operation is successful I have successfully partitioned my hard disk into Windows common and Mac so I have three volumes of my drive so here is my external hard disk in my Windows system you can see it doesn't show the Mac partition here I just have the Windows and the common so we will go for disk partitions and here my disk management window opens up here you can see the common and the Windows partition which I just created for Windows the format is FAT32 which I'll change to NTFS right now the common one will be XFAT because I want it in the Mac as well as Windows so for the Windows right click on it hitting format the volume label will be Windows file system will be NTFS allocation unit size I'll leave it default and then hit OK it gives me the warning that it will erase all the data but I want to continue because my disk is empty and here the windows is formatting and yes I just got it formatted to the NTFS format so summing it all up the scheme options can be GUID master boot record and Apple partition map we will go for GUID because it is used for all Intel based Mac computers and window vistas onwards master boot record will be just for windows partition whereas apple partition map is for older version of mac for the format options we have os x extended journal it is used for mac the second one is case sensitive and journaled ms dos fat it is for windows as well as mac but the limitation here is for the file size XFAT is again for Mac and Windows but the disadvantage here is it is not journaled the journaling file system provides the security to the files from becoming corrupted in case of disrupted file transfer or file operations so the recommended format if option is available is NTFS I'll use that for Windows since it is journaled so that was all for this video I hope this helped you Thanks for watching and have a good day.